Hi, welcome to our channel, Our Vet School. Today, I'm going to discuss about Marek's disease. Marek's disease, it is a common lympho, proliferative disease of chickens, usually characterized by mononuclear, cellular infiltrates, in peripheral nerves, and various organs, and tissues, including iris, and skin. Etiology. Marek's disease virus, is a cell-associated herpes virus with lymphotropic, properties. There are three, serotypes. Serotype 1, gallet herpes, virus 2, isolate from chicken, serotype 2, gallet herpes, virus 2, isolate from chicken. Serotype 3, meligand, herpes virus, isolated from turkey. Marek's disease virus refers to serotype, strains can be subdivided, into, according to, pathogenicity, mild, virulent, and very virulent. Virulence, or oncogenicity, with only serotype 1, MDVs. Natural hosts. Virtually, all chickens, including, game fowl, are susceptible to MDV, infection and tumor, development, natural host. Quail, turkeys, pheasants, and some species of ducks, and geese are also susceptible to, natural infection, and disease. Transmission. MDV, is transmitted horizontally, and readily, by direct, or indirect contact, between chickens, by airborne route, from residual, feather dust, and dander, in growing, or adjacent houses, for mites or personnel. Incubation period. Experimental infection, early mononuclear infiltration, after 5 days but clinical signs, and classical lesions, not before 3 to 4 weeks, pi. Natural infection. Marek's disease outbreaks sometimes occur in young unvaccinated chickens of three to four weeks. But most of serious causes begin after eight to nine weeks and common after egg production, especially in broiler breeders or subsequent to molting. Clinical signs, it varies according to the specific syndrome. Paralysis syndromes, Marek's disease lymphoma. Progressive paralysis and later complete spastic paralysis of one or more of extremities. Involvement of the vagus nerve can result in paralysis and dilation of crop and or gasping. Incoordination or stilted gait may be the first observed sign. The characteristic sign is a bird's with one leg stretched forward and the other back. Some birds may appear clinically normal and others depressed or comatose prior to death. Non-specific signs as emaciation, paleness, anorexia and diarrhea could be seen. Some birds develop nervous signs as torticollis. Some chickens may exhibit ataxia and flaccid neck paralysis. Acute fatal deaths may occur followed by paralysis. Ocular syndrome, characterized by blindness, unilateral or bilateral. Morbidity and mortality. Most birds develop clinical disease die. Mortality is low. Some flocks experience disease outbreaks despite vaccination. Mortality take periods 4 to 10 weeks. Acute cytolytic infection, or transient paralysis can be developed in some flocks. Gross lesions. It consists of mainly nerve lesions, visceral lymphoma. No brain lesion, but spinal ganglia. Nerve lesions. Severally affected peripheral nerves, cervical, sciatic, and brachial, show loss of cross striation, gray, or yellow discoloration, and sometimes edematous appearance with unilateral, or bilateral localized, or diffuse enlargement, two to three times, normal size. Autonomic nerves, as celiac nerves, are highly affected than peripheral nerves. Visceral organs. Lymphomatous lesions in gonads, ovary, lung, heart, mesentery, kidney, liver, spleen, bursa, thymus, adrenal gland, pancreases, proventriculus, intestine iris, skeletal muscles, and skin. Visceral lesions can occur with nerve lesions. Visceral lesions either is diffuse enlargement, white or grayish discolorations, or nodular growths of varying sizes of firm gray to white nodules, with smooth cut surfaces. Lesions in immature ovaries appear as small or large translucent areas or cauliflower like growth in mature ovaries. Other viscera showed focal grius foci or large nodules to diffuse enlargement. Cutaneous from due to involvement of skin, feather follicle, either scattered follicles, whitish nodules, or diffuse brownish crust. Erythematous involvement of skin, shank in broiler due to virulent disease called Alabama red leg. Also, swelling of comb, and wattle due to, skin lymphoma. Ocular form, changes include, loss of pigmentation of iris, irregularity of pupil. Conjunctivitis, multifocal hemorrhages, and corneal edema. 
Other syndromes. Acute cytolytic infection, characterized by degenerative and cytolytic changes in lymphoid organs. Splenomegaly, due to nonioplastic response of viral replication. Occulsive atherosclerosis, vascular syndrome, grossly fatty atheromatous, lesions in large coronaries, aorta and other large arteries. Local lesions, experimental, some nodular growths, at the site of inoculation. That's all today. Please, like, comments, and, share. Subscribe for next video. Thanks for watching.